My name's Alan Solomon, and me and my wife Rebecca are uh, renovating a row house here in the Bedford Stuyvesant area of Brooklyn. When I think of the Passive House, I think of you know clean, healthy living, and um, I think of rainbows. Oh, you think of rain, and he thinks of rainbows. <laughs> Passive House is a design and construction methodology that was started in Germany in response actually to, to what Americans were doing in, in the United States in the 70s during the energy crisis. Uh, there was this great interest in reducing energy costs in buildings. And for this house, what Passive House means is that we're reducing the total energy load by 75% and we're reducing the heating load by 90%. The way we're doing that is we're, we're using you know, two to three times the amount of insulation that a normal house might. We're also taking very careful care to have a continuous air barrier and have really good windows and have really good mechanical systems. So what we're doing is constantly bringing in fresh air through something called a heat exchanger, which is you know, the best possible occupant health. Well, the project sort of evolved from different events. Uh, we live in the neighborhood and we were looking to buy a home. I was hoping to find a house that was a wood frame house. I work with wood salvage, so uh, we bought the house. What we didn't realize at the time was just how much work was needed. The building itself was is in as bad shape as a New York building as I've ever seen. Any paint back in the yard is probably got full of lead paint and junk. And yeah, I think most of the backyards have this big lead paint issues. Yeah. Yeah. It was about that time I was, um, we were selling wood to a couple of passive house projects in the city. Uh, so I got a first hand look at what was happening during the construction. And it was really interesting uh, to see this relatively old approach in Europe start taking off here in Brooklyn. So we see a lot of passive house um, buildings being ha happening in Brooklyn. It's a very active borough in the construction industry. And I guess there's more, maybe more enlightened people in Brooklyn and more people experimenting and giving us an opportunity to show what, we, what, uh, what we're able to do. It's beautiful where we can like heat these apartments with just two hair dryers. Um, in this little project with the sea container, we're just a so little solar power and we'll be able to heat this little sink container to keep these people um, you know, warmer. This is a, a, a beautiful house. You know, we're working in a, a row of buildings. And so when we have a row of buildings, we have a lot of neighbors. And so we have all these party line walls that are against other warm buildings, adiabatic buildings. So they're warm. So we're not losing any energy or heat because they're, all the adjacent buildings are warm. And so that's walls we don't have to insulate. And then we can just focus on the front and the back and the roof. And that's where we focus all our insulation and our little extra cost. In Passive House, an important aspect of it is, is using the sun. In this case, this is our south facade. So first design decision is take these rather small openings and combine them. So you see this door here to this window. We're going to make one big cut to create a one 10 by 10 window, which will bring in all this low-lying winter sun. Same with the second and third floors. I love the detailing, all the colors, and the reclaimed wood throughout it. You see the wood over there for all those, uh, you know, the backside of the exterior wall. It's so natural and so they use a lot, a lot of recycled wood. We've decided to use a fire treatment process on the wood for the front uh, exterior uh, that they call shosugiban and it's a Japanese term, uh, it means charred cedar wood. And Japanese carpenters stumbled upon this idea of charring the wood in order to increase weather resistance. What's exciting here is that uh, through the Shosugiban process, you sort of elevate the performance of an already decently performing wood. And a way to also uh, explore and experiment with uh, reclaimed woods is one of the raw materials for the Passive House project. It evokes kind of uh, materials and techniques of a traditional exterior for a house, but they've done it in a very new way. 
It kind of just looks like a normal house. What you will gain by having the passive house is um, really exciting. We've been doing energy conservation buildings for the past 20 or 30 years, and when we discovered passive house, it's just like these people get it. And it's a beautiful energy calculation and energy model, and we're finding it's realistic that you're going to use X amount of energy per square foot of building, and that's what we find to be beautiful. Ha, 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 ha.